In this lesson, we will take a look at white space. Uh, the rest of this lesson will focus on some tools developers use to make code easier to interpret. As the code in an HTML file grows, it becomes increasingly difficult to keep track of how elements are related. Programmers use two tools to visualize the relationship between elements and those tools are white space and indentation. Both tools take advantage of the fact that the position of elements in a browser is independent of the amount of white space or indentation in the HTML file, index.html file. So the white space that you create between elements in your HTML code doesn't appear on the page in the browser. For example, if you wanted to increase the space between two paragraphs on your web page, you would not be able to accomplish this by adding space between the paragraph elements in the index.html file. The browser ignores white space in HTML files when it renders a web page. So just like I said, when you create the white space between the HTML tags, you don't actually create that space on the page. The browser ignores white space in HTML files when it renders a web page, so it can be used as a tool to make a code easier to read and follow. What makes the example below difficult to read? Let's see the example. We have the body element, then we have one paragraph and we have the second one. You see how easier it is to read this code when we have everything placed like in this example here. So we have one paragraph, it is this one, and then we have the second one under that first paragraph. It is much easier when it is organized like this than when you have something like this one line code. It doesn't look nice and it is much harder to read this code than this one. You have to read the entire line to know what elements are present. Compare the example above to this one. Yeah, we just did that. See how hard it is to read this line of code and then how easy is to read this one. This example is easier to read because each element is on its own line. While the first example required you to read the entire line of code to identify the elements, this example makes it easy to identify the body tag and two paragraphs. And yes, that is completely correct. A browser renders both examples the same way. Just like I said, you see, the white space doesn't affect the page at all. This example and this one will render completely the same. In the next exercise, you will learn how to use indentation to help visualize nested elements. Okay, but for now, let's see the instructions for this exercise. Use white space to make the code more readable by putting each element on its own line. And let's go to our editor right here and take a look at this example here. And then let's do the same thing here. Let's place the age one below and then the P tag below the age one. Like this, like this, then just let's go and beautify this a little bit. I would do like this, it looks much nicer. This and this and okay, 
something like this. You see, we have the body, we have, okay, we have the HTML first, then we have the body, and then we have the H1, and below we have our P tag. And let's click run. And of course, it is correct. Let's proceed to the next one. 